Peace family, welcome back to our Credit Healing channel. Now today we're gonna to be discussing a topic that hits home for many of you because many of you are currently renting and many of you are looking to purchase a home. Now, before we go into this topic, I wanna to say this, that just because you are a renter, that does not mean that you're less than someone who's a homeowner or someone who's trying to purchase a home outright. And the reason I want to make sure that you know this is because that doesn't really necessarily make a difference as to who you are. Right. And many people who actually own homes are going through problems themselves, many problems. So don't think that just because you're renting that you're less than anybody who actually owns a home. I just want to make sure to let you know that before we delve into this topic. Now, the question for this particular topic is, does late payments on your rent or your renting actually affect your credit score? Now, to answer that question in short, that's no. However, there's a caveat to that. Now, if you are, say, for instance, three months or five months or six months late, what can happen is that you can eventually get uh, evicted depending on the state. And by you getting evicted, it can be reported onto your credit report. Now, if it's reported onto your credit file, then what will happen is that the home buying process will be very, very hard for you because now the underwriters who are going to look at your credit score they're going to look at your debt to income ratio they're going to look at other things as well and if they see that you have an eviction on your credit report most likely you will not be approved and if the eviction is fairly new uh most likely if it's not if you, the eviction that's on your credit report is not removed before you go through the home buying process they'll look at that and they'll say well this person is high risk this is a red flag therefore most likely we're not going to approve this person uh due to this recent eviction so if you have any evictions please feel free to reach out to us because we'll definitely help you get that removed now if you are say for instance going through a process in which you may be getting evicted it's best for you to basically devise and think about some type of strategies that you can go through that will help you not get evicted, such as maybe borrowing money from a relative. Or if you have if your credit is good enough, you can probably take out a personal loan um, or something like that, or even a credit card. And we can also help you get approved for loans and credit cards as well through our process. Now, I do want to be able to discuss that topic. If you are going through an eviction, please try to take care of it. I know that you may be going through some type of uh financial troubles but do your best especially if you're trying to purchase a home in the near future now the le very last topic that we'll discuss with you is if you're looking to purchase a home i would highly recommend that you look into uh your first property being a multi-family unit being that you can stay in one part and then you can rent out the other and therefore that will basically just negate or nullify your mortgage because the other person will basically pay your mortgage you won't have to pay anything from there and then next year what you will do is that you can consider buying a single family home and therefore you have and when you move out you have two streams of income one from the top unit one from the bottom unit and then one from the top unit will pay that particular uh mortgage on that property and then one from the bottom unit will pay your mortgage for your single family home all right, so I just want to give that advice to you all. If you have any questions about your credit, feel free to reach out to us at contact at credithealing.org. And if you're ready to get started and you're ready to start to heal and build your credit, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.